Hello, everybody. What is the word? There was something on my pants. Sorry. <laughs> Today has been a really stormy looking day. Not really much has been going on or anything, but it's just like, mm, been cloudy. It was thundering and stuff a couple hours ago when I got home. moving. There's so many bugs and not so good things out here. I came out here to get some fresh air, but, um, me. Don't you go in my house. There's a spider on my door frame and I'm petrified of spiders. I mean, completely terrified. I mean, it's crazy. This is a little bitty one, probably like about that big. It's black and white. Well, black with white spots, but I'm terrified of them. And I blame my grandmother for that. She wanted to have some grown up time when I was like two. And. Really? When I was like two or like one and a half, two years old, and she put a movie on for me, and it was ended up being arachnophobia. And so ever since then, I have just been morbidly terrified of spiders. <laughs> and it didn't help that like a week later, we had like a fireplace and a spider about the size of a softball, I mean like the huge balls, came out of our fireplace and I was sitting like three feet from it watching cartoons. I look over, scream, next thing I know, I'm sitting in my high chair on the other side of the room and she gets a can of Raid, sprays it, and it's curling up and then unfolding and lunging at her, right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And, <laughs> and then... She sprays it again. It'll curl up. And then boom. And one can down. She um got another can. And hold on, there's a fly. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> because it's been so wet, flies have been kind of bad around here, but um Finally, she gets the second can of Raid. I mean, like, the full-size cans. She gets the second one. I'm still sitting in my high chair screaming because I'm terrified and I'm just freaking out. And I'm having flashbacks to the movie that, um, um, she uses that can and it finally curls up long enough for her to get a guard stick and get it outside and throw it down the onto the balc off the balcony because we were on the second floor. So that has stuck with me since I was itty bitty. <laughs> so I'm like uber terrified. It doesn't matter what size it is, I'm terrified of the things. <sighs> Oh, man. Sorry, I'm partially watching a movie, but I wanted to vlog because all I did was upload a, a blind bag, My Little Pony, and My Little's Pet Shop opening video today so far. I got <clears throat> Percy Jackson Sea of Monsters, and that's what I'm watching. I ate my dinner, and I watched this, and I was watching this, and I was like, it's getting, like, kind of late. I need to vlog. So, yeah. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but I'm like literally, literally not going to get any sleep tonight because, um, 
we're going to Texas City because I have an early doctor's appointment in the morning. Because I need to get a letter about how bad my back is. So I can give it to the apartments so they'll leave me alone. And then I'll also have it so when I do move again in November, well actually October, then I can give it to my new apartment so they won't hassle me too much and stuff. So, and also I want to see about getting refills for my prescriptions and stuff. And then, I don't know if we're going to go to KFC, or if we're going to go, like, up to either League City or Pearland to get, um, some La Madeleines or Freebirds or something. I'm not sure. It all depends on how we feel after, because he, Justin, doesn't, uh, get off of work until midnight. Or after, and we have to leave here around 8, since it is like about an hour, hour and 20 minute drive from here to my doctor. So, yeah, he probably won't be getting any sleep tonight at all. Oh, and I can just, I don't know. I have, was trying to get an application for a handicap plaque. I have one now, but it will expire in like October. So I wanted to go ahead and get another one and everything so <clears throat> I can take it to my doctor because I probably won't go back to my doctor until, well this is going into July, August, September, October. So, about the time I move. So, because I only go every three months. Because that's the deal that me and Justin made because my doctor is so far away. And I tried going to a doctor closer to me that was in Lake Jackson, but she was a complete quack. I mean, she was trying to say, because I'm overweight, I have sleep apnea. And because I snore, I have sleep apnea. When, no. For one, I have asthma. And for two, I have sinus uh, problems. I've always, always have. But she was even trying to tell Justin that he has sleep apnea. It's like, really? And with my inhalers, I do um, four puffs four times a day. So I that locks me two inhalers a month. Like this one. And I take Atrovent. And... She tried to mark it down to two puffs four times a day and then cut me off the other ones. It's like, no, uh-uh. So I got mad because it's just like, really? For one, you don't know me. The first thing you walk in and say is, oh, you have sleep apnea because you're fat and you're... And then she's like, do you snore? Yeah. Okay, well now, yes, you do have sleep apnea because you're fat and you snore. Do you stop breathing in your sleep? No, <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, I think you have sleep apnea. So, I was just like, I was not in the good mood. I had a really severe ear infection that I didn't even know I had. Well, my ear was hurting, but I couldn't hear. Like, literally, we got to the doctor's office, and was somebody knocking on my door? Let's look out the window. And I get to the doctor's office, right? And instantly, I go deaf in this ear, which is really, really bad, because I'm already, no, I'm already partially deaf in my left ear, because when I was in high school, I jumped into a swimming pool and blew out both of my eardrums, and this one was more severe, so I can't hear really anything. It sounds like it's all muffled and everything, and I'm just like trying to read her lips, because with some people, I taught myself to be able to read their lips because I can't understand them or hear them. And I was trying to do that. And then when she left the room, Justin had to tell me what it was because he knows that I'm hard of hearing and partially deaf. <coughs> and 
I got pissed. I was like, let's just go. And so because of that, we agreed since my doc, my good doctor is an hour and a half, almost 20 minutes away in Texas City, that I could go every three months when I need to refill my prescriptions. And that um, whenever I get sick, I just go to the urgent care clinic in um, Lake Jackson because they're really, really nice. They're really good. <coughs> so that's what we're doing. Um, I was supposed to go, like, when the top tropical storm came, and I actually talked to my doctor through email, and he said, because I told him I didn't think I'd be able to make it because it was going to flood pretty bad over here, and he said that that was fine, I could just reschedule, and then they rescheduled, and I wasn't going to go into, like, August 17th, and he's like, no, that won't work. I will overbook you. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting overbooked and uh, getting the appointment for tomorrow morning at 1040. So we have to, like I said, leave here about 8. 8.30 at the absolute latest. But preferably 8 o'clock. So, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm full and it's hot in my house because my AC again is not working like it should. <laughs> it's like sometimes periodically throughout the day it will be like an iceberg in here. It will be freezing, right? And then the rest of the time it's just really hot. <sighs> so, yeah. Question of the day. I almost forgot. I'm glad I remember because I was going to cut the video or cut the vlog. And I was like, wait, no, I'm forgetting something. Um, how many of y'all have actually gone to a doctor who was trying to diagnose you with things that you really, that you personally know you do not have? Leave it in the comments below. I want to see how many quacks there are out there. <laughs> and I mean... Some of the bad thing is with me, I was raised in a medical family or like a medical household because my grandmother worked for the hospital and all this other kind of stuff. So like your close, close family friends are like your great, like your aunts and uncles. Mine were all MDs and DOs. So I took an interest in the medical really, really young. And if I could have... Like, if uh, we had stayed in Fort Worth, I probably would be a doctor right now. Because I actually wanted to be. So, I go to doctors and I tell them what's wrong with me. And they're like, how would you know? We have to do tests to find out. I'm like, okay, but I have strep. They do the test. They come back. Yeah, you have strep. How'd you know? And I tell them. I've had strep, like, probably five, six hundred times in my life. And I'm like, oh, okay. So now my doctor that I have now, I will just tell him what's wrong and he just agrees with me going, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm going to cut this vlog short and get back to my movie and then I'm going to lay down. I'm not feeling too hot. Which I guess is a good thing I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. I think I have like another ear infection or something because I'm just, ugh. Not feeling great. Um, so, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.